his head. No! Oh. Ah, ah, um. Oh. Oh. Just making you dumber. <laughs> Are you sure I did? No, I just tapped it like this. Oh. Like this. He tapped it like this. <laughs> <laughs> We are gonna go to a Korean brunch place. We went to Mirror Woods yesterday, which you already saw in the last vlog, or maybe it's in the same vlog, I don't know. Uh, we're going to a Korean brunch place right now. It has almost about five stars. I think it's new, and roughly about 700 reviews. I don't know if you can really trust the reviews in San Francisco, because I feel like a lot of Yelp reviews are boosted, but we're gonna check this place out. I think it's a Korean fusion, so we'll see how it is. See you guys there. Right here, it's like a new Korean brunch place fusion. It's been on Yelp for a little bit now. It has about like almost 700 reviews, like I said, almost five stars. We wanted to check it out. I'm not a huge fan of fusion sometimes, but we still want to check it out because it's new and it's something we haven't tried before yet. So hopefully they have an all-you-can-eat, all-you-can-drink. I guess we'll see. I'm not really quite sure, but it seems like they have a mix of like a lot of like American style stuff and some Korean style dishes as well. I don't know. It's gonna be very interesting. I've never had Korean for brunch for brunch before. I'm filming this the next day, but we went to Chubby Noodle yesterday. It was really good. Um, if you check on Yelp, it has about like 700 plus reviews. It's, why am I standing like this? <laughs> has really good reviews. It's delicious. 700 stars. <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, so it's not all you can do. <laughs> uh, so we went to Sarisan yesterday. It's a new place that opened up. It's a Korean fusion. Now, a lot of Asian places in San Francisco are mostly gonna be fusion. Fusion. Uh, so it was an all you can eat. They had a brunch menu. It was mixed with like Korean food, fusion of course, and they had breakfast American foods. They have amazing billionaire bacon. Billions and billions. It looked amazing. I didn't get to eat it though because they forgot the order to bring out. They had some really good drinks as well for cocktails, but a lot of the things were made with soju. So that's very different. For example, they had like Bloody Mary soju. They had mimosa soju. And then, no, it was mimosa soju. It was a... Uh, <laughs> What's it called? Mojito. They had a mojito. <laughs> She's my. <laughs> She's my script. <laughs> uh, they had mojito soju, really good. They also had bottomless uh, mimosas as well. The service was really spotty, but you know they're still new, so you want, I wanted to give them a chance on that. However, if you go there for bottomless mimosas, just make sure they just keep refilling it for you because they forgot about us a few times. At some point, she felt so bad that she. God damn! Can I start for notifications? <laughs> At some point. <laughs> ding ding ding! <laughs> At some point. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, the server felt so bad that she forgot about us that she just stood there with the pitcher, made us chug it, pour, chug, pour, chug, pour, just like chug, pour, yes. So I do recommend going there. Ambiance is really nice. They have outdoor seating. Indoor seating is nice. This one, I'm usually really picky about seating. Definitely recommend you guys to check it out there.